Hey everyone, this is Tim Neer, founder and CEO of Cyborg, and today I'd like to show you around Cyborg's leaderboard functionality. So first things first, you want to make sure you're here on the Compete tab in your bottom toolbar, and we're taking a look at the leaderboard here. So you can choose to view the leaderboard for pace points or pulse points, and then we've got a few different time durations that you can select also. So right now what we're viewing is pace points for the day. So I'm at 835 and that puts me in fourth place for all the Cyborg users who have posted here pretty early this morning. Now if I want to refine these results, I can click that tab down below and it slides up from the bottom. And let's see how many pulse points I have for the day. It's not many. I just went for a short walk, so I only accumulated maybe four pulse points. So with those, you can see that I'm ranked in eighth place, but I can also check what are my pace points so far for the month and how does that rank me amongst Cyborg's users? Now it's even cooler than that because you don't have to just get ranked amongst the entire Cyborg community. Part of the power of our squads function is the ability to see how you rank in the sub-communities that you're a part of. So here's the Athletic Instinct Gym. Let's see for the month how I rank in pace points. Pretty cool. I'm number two. So this just goes to show the flexibility of Cyborg's platform and the ways that these virtual metrics can rank you in these varying environments. We're going to have a ton of new features coming out for instantaneous kind of competitions and ways to get engaged with each other. So be sure to join our email list, check in frequently, and make sure your notifications are on for the Cyborg user squad because we'll be rolling out new features there. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to us hello at cyborg.io, and we'll get those answers for you immediately. Thanks, and enjoy the app.